scores. Jays now with seven points for the Claws. Saunders top of the key, right side to Lewis. Lewis gets a high screen, but Paul Harris is able to stay on him. Humphrey left side, Stowbridge three, why not? One point game with 39.9 to play in this opening quarter. Randall will pick up full court, works on Stowbridge quite a bit. Stowbridge drives all the way in. It's into Justin Brownlee. Brownlee. Right block extended, tries to find Anthony Kent, who can't catch it cleanly. Coming back the other way, RGV. Stowbridge all the way and scores. Soft glass for two, and again, it's back up to a four-point game. Team bounce pass to the foul line to Kent. Kent now driving in and finishes with the right hand. Anthony Kent showing some ball skills there. No one picks up defense, so Damian Saunders just drives right in and slam dunk to the Another left great example of the fact that the Vipers got it in and up before the claws were even turned around and recognized it. Here's Silas, another bad pass, stolen away by Stowbridge driving in, and a quick 6 nothing run by the Vipers has RGV up six. I think Coach Lato is going to want a timeout here because, once again, the sloppy play is leading to runouts. 36-30, RGV with a six-point lead, 6.05 to play here in the second quarter. And right elbow, it's going to be too strong on the shot. Rebound fought for and brought down by J.R. Stowbridge, who finds a streaking Johnson and Maine just not getting back on defense. Easy flush there. What a terrific pass by Stowbridge, though. Head up. He, the last minute and a half, he's pretty much dominated this game, even though he's the shortest man on the floor. Left side, Paul Harris, three-pointer, no good. Rebound to the Vipers, and Stowbridge running the floor. No good, but Saunders cleans it up. Me off the step now, drives in, rejected by Saunders. We saw a lot of that yesterday. Main, or excuse me, RGV coming back quickly the other way. Johnson, corner, Stowbridge left open for three. Good. 13-point lead. And, of course, that means it's a 13-nothing run for the Vipers. Timeout, Maine. And crowd a little bit, trying to get back into this game. We cut to 23. Stowbridge drives in, finds Smith. Smith slams it home. Another example of where Stowbridge just went blew by his defender, forcing the inside defender to step up and a wide open dunk. Hayes Calgary three, no good. Rebound to Stowbridge, and look at him. Look at that motor as he just goes. Stowbridge. To the, it's an open look for three. He can't get it to go, though. Rebound to Saunders. Stowbridge looks up. Humphrey turns around just in time to catch it back to Stowbridge. Left side, Saunders. Open look. Three-pointer goes. I am. Vipers coming back the other way. Stowbridge. Outside to Johnson. Now to Saunders. Johnson cross-court pass to Stowbridge. Greg Smith with it outside. Lee Humphrey fakes the three. Beautiful pass to Stowbridge with the lay-in. Outstanding pass. Made it look like he was taking the three. The Claws defenders fell asleep, and it resulted in an easy lay-in. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Randall. Ball, though, stolen right back. Here's the whistle. Ball will come back into play, and Greg Smith will have to track it down, and he does. Quick turn around over to Lewis. Lewis. Find Stowbridge, four seconds on the shot clock, three seconds driving all the way in and underneath Justin Brownlee for two. Because right now, uh, you know, with a record being four and ten, you need effort. You, you need to see some spark. Here's Stowbridge, finds Smith. Smith try, or excuse me, back to Stowbridge, who goes underneath the hoop, reverse layup goes, and that's 100 points for the Vipers. And I'll say this, I mean, the Vipers have been under their scoring both games, missed three-pointer by Justin Brownlee. I just don't know how much of that is main defense versus... RGV just missing shots. Well, and, uh, and let me say this, too. I mean, look at Stowbridge, who came in. I mean, he flew in the night before the game. He was cut early on with this team, and they needed a, uh, a point guard after Johnson got hurt. Um, hey, he's done a terrific job. Paul Harris. Final thoughts on what ended up being a very difficult weekend and a fantastic weekend, we should say, for RGV, who played very well in this building. They're a very good club, and we can't take anything away from them. They, you know, they came in with a reputation of being a three-point shooting team only. The first night, they took the ball inside. The second night, they shot it from the perimeter. They're deep, and they're talented, and very well coached. Once again, your final score, 104-81. The Red Claws fall to the RGV Vipers today, and they fall in both games this weekend.